See, when I saw Taraji mm -hmm. broken mm -hmm. on those platforms, it was painful to watch. However, Taraji and I had a conversation over a decade ago. Yes. In my trailer mm -hmm. when I was doing the Monique show. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, you got to keep on getting it until your turn comes. And I said, Taraji, most of us die before our turn comes. We got to ask for it right now. Now, I understand that because there was a time I felt the same way. Exactly. Because that's what I was told. Right. You just keep going and we'll get them the next time. We'll get them the next time. We'll get them the next time. And the next time never comes. He said, is it for your games? I told him, yes, it's for your, 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 your games. And then you see our sister, Broken sitting on those platforms. Now, when I said it. Why didn't it get the traction when you said it that when she said it, now all of a sudden, everybody is coming. It's cool when they do it's it. Cool. It's a problem when I do it. If you said this a decade ago, and I yes. remember you saying it over a decade ago, why didn't it get the traction? Why didn't it get the support? Why wasn't it propped up when Monique said it? It's cool when they do it's it. Cool. It's a problem when I do it. I think there's a few reasons why. Number one, it was the messenger. I should just be grateful I got invited to the party. You a big, fat, black woman. How dare you be the one? It's cool when they do it. It's, cool. it's a problem when I do it. And then on top of that, you're saying names. You're saying Oprah's name out loud. You're saying Tyler's name out loud. You're saying Lee's name out loud. You're saying Lionsgate out loud. That's not what we do. We say they. We say the people. We say the studio. See, back in the day when they had us in chains, mm -hmm. they would beat one real good. Right. But in front of the others. In front of the others. And they let everybody know what you don't want is that type of ass whooping. Right. That's Kunta to you. Kunta Kinte. So what they said was, we're going to beat Monique really good. We're going to sit her down. And, and, and I made it public. Financially, my family took a hit, Shannon. And when I tell you we took a hit. Right. We took a hit. So when you see our sister go through that, you see her go through and we act like our eyes didn't see what it saw when we watched that promotion happen mm -hmm. with the color purple. Right. We wanted to act like we didn't see how Oprah Winfrey treated Taraji. In my humble opinion, when you saw her walk up, you saw that there was tension. You saw that there was something happening. Right. And then when you see Taraji write her a love letter, it's like, listen... We got to stand tall and stand strong on what we know. You, We know you were mistreated. We know it wasn't right. We know it was unfair. And then you turn around and say, oh, but Lady O handled it. I have a problem with that. In 2007, Oprah opened a boarding school for girls in South Africa called the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls. Just months after the school was opened, mm -hmm. a female member of staff was arrested after multiple students reported her for inappropriate behavior in SA. We arrested a former employee of uh, who was working at Oprah Winfrey uh, Leadership Academy for Girls. As a result of that conversation with the girls, by the next day, five other brave girls had come forward. But all the girls were afraid of repercussions from the remaining dorm matrons. So we immediately removed all remaining dorm matrons and put teachers in rotation in the dorms. In February 2011, a dead baby was discovered in one of the students' backpacks. However, a spokesman what? for Oprah told ABC News that Oprah would not be commenting on this case. But what made all these allegations even more disturbing is that in 2010, Oprah traveled to Brazil to meet self-proclaimed medium and convicted offender, John of God. One of the most famous spiritual healers in the world rarely talks to anyone on camera. John of God agreed to sit down with me under a mango tree on the grounds of the casa. The first time I saw it today, I was humbled by the experience. Mm. A part of this belongs to you. John ran a spiritual center in Brazil where he performed healing ceremonies on desperate people. However, in reality, he was doing something much worse. And in 2018, he turned himself into the authorities after facing over 600 accusations of SA. John was sentenced to over 60 years in prison. Ugh. And yet, all Oprah did was delete the interview with John from her website and issued a short statement saying she hopes the victims what? get justice. But isn't it interesting how all these stories were quickly suppressed in the media and no one even talks about Oprah's sketchy school anymore or her connections to all these creepy men? Well, the public may have forgotten about it. The mass media does not talk about those things 
and uh, look for the video on YouTube. It's like something like Angelina Jolie, Creepy School. And then apparently, according to this video, Angelina Jolie doesn't like Oprah either. And then there's something else, too, like, you know, when they had that, those Hawaii volcanoes that could have been harp. And then they might have, there's a whole lot of crazy stuff dealing with that, like, in the rock might have been into it. And then they got underground tunnels, all kind of craziness. Look into it. Could be Flat Earth. Who knows? But look into it, though. There are some, some black people, some, not all, some, that... My grandfather used to say, Mo, is that if you're not careful, you'll become the very thing you despise the most in a person. Now, what do we despise most about Trump supporters, ex-President Trump? And future President Trump, most likely. Is that no matter what he says, no matter what he does, they give him an out. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her, she's now got the big phony tits and everything. She's totally changed her look. I better use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. Grab them by the pussy. You want. Grab them by the pussy. You want. Grab them by the pussy. Somebody had to take the babysitter home. Then I noticed she was sitting on her sweet can. I grab her sweet can. Oh, just thinking about her can. I just wish I had her sweet, 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 sweet can. There's some people in our community, no matter what powerful black people say or do in our community, we'll give them an out. It's cool when they do it's it. Cool. It's a problem when I do it. And we can't. The movie The Butler, mm -hmm. that movie was offered to me. Lee Daniels came out and said, I did offer Monique the butler. Yep, but here we go with that money Mike and the Santa Claus stuff. But as he said to me, he said, Mo, at the time I didn't have no power and I didn't have no money. So when Oprah said she wanted it, so who played the lead role in the butler? Oprah Winfrey. Lee Daniels was getting ready to do a biopic on Richard Pryor and he offered me the grandmother. Who then calls Lee Daniels and says, I want to be the grandmother. Because the way things could look, it may not be that way. Just the way you would have my family on your show, Oprah. When Oprah Winfrey called me up and she said, I got a call from your brother. And this is after I won the Oscar Award, mm -hmm. right? And your brother wants to come on the show and he wants to apologize to you for molesting you. And he wants to tell other people how to look out for a predator. Right. I said, Oprah, I said, I don't want anything to do with that cat. I said, but, and then she said, well, if you want me to scratch the show, I will scratch it. Mm -hmm. When I hung up that phone, Shannon, I was like, I appreciate that sister. Like she didn't have to call me. She didn't. She didn't have to call me and say, yeah. I'm gonna have your brother. Right. I start seeing commercials with my mother and my father and my other brother who used to be my manager, mm -hmm. who knew the fear that I had with the brother that was up on stage, Correct. right? Mm -hmm. We never talked about my mother being there. She never told you that. You know how you feel about your grandparents? Yes, absolutely. You know the honor and the, how you speak about them? Mm -hmm. Imagine you then seeing your granddaddy and your grandmama on a show and they're talking about somebody that violated you. And that woman didn't tell you that they were gonna be there. I mean, is seeing them on TV the most traumatic thing in the world? Maybe it is to her, I can't call it. How would you feel? I would feel like you, feel like you felt betrayed. That is exactly how I felt and how I feel. And it's not, oh, I'm in a, no, I understand it. But you portrayed me, sister.